Hello, hello, this is Elizabeth Griffin, the Black Romance Writer, and welcome back to my channel. I hope your day is going well, and let me start this video by saying that we're going to be talking about sports romances, and some of you may never have heard of this genre. So let me elaborate. Sports romances are those romances that take place around the world of sports and they sometimes involve one athlete or two athletes. I haven't seen a lot of books on the subject, but I know it is a, a trope and I know it is a genre and I know it is well loved. I am an athletic person by nature. I love riding my bicycles. I love jogging. I love physical exertion. And I assume because of that, I was drawn towards the world of surfing. So let me state that I know absolutely nothing, and I do mean nothing about surfing. To me, all surfboards look the same. I had no idea that some surfboards came with fins and others came without. And I say this to preface the fact that um, we're going to be talking about sports romances and we're going to be talking about surfing. And we're going to be talking about my book, which is called White Gold, which is about a surfer. So I am a Phillies girl from West Philadelphia. And the most that I know about the sport of surfing comes from watching the 1950s Gidget movies starring Sandra D, Cliff Robertson, and James Darren. Many of you have probably seen these movies either on television or on YouTube You've come across them, I assume, just as I have in my childhood. I also was a fan of the TV series, which starred Sally Fields. So I love the adventures of Gidget on the beach, surfing, falling in love, and the trials and tribulations of a teenager in that time period, which was like the 1950s. The TV series and the movies about Gidget are based on, guess what? A bunch of novels written about a teenage girl who falls in love with an older boy. This is why I love writing novels. Most good movies or television shows or streaming shows can be traced back to a book, which was written by us, the authors. So there is always going to be a place for writers in this world and our work, our material will be used in different platforms such as audiobooks and television programs and streaming programs and platforms. And for you indie authors out there, be encouraged, stay encouraged because with ebooks and with ebook distribution and audiobook distribution, you can reach a wide audience and you can have your material, your book recognized. And someone may approach you if the sales are high enough and you gain enough attention. Publishers, established traditional publishers, will contact you and will want to make deals with you. So be prepared for this to happen. And also make sure that you don't, and I repeat, do not sign your rights away. Make sure you have legal representation so that you protect all of your rights, your written rights, your audiobook rights, your television rights, your overseas rights. You have so many rights on one piece of intellectual property that you may have to, you definitely have to protect. Did you know that you also have translation rights? Your book can be translated into different languages and different regions of the world. Do your homework, protect yourself, because I believe firmly that sometimes you only get one, one truly phenomenal, sensational, one of a kind story. And that one piece of material, that one story can make you money for the rest of your life. So protect all of your rights. Now, back to the sport of surfing. I can't forget to mention my favorite movie, 
which is called Blue Crush. And this movie stars Kate Bosworth, Michelle Rodriguez, and Sonoy Lake. I love this movie and I watched it over and over and over again. And I believe in the back of my mind, I was collecting ideas and thinking about and conceiving a story of my own, which turned out to be White Gold. The movie Blue Crush is an action-filled movie about the world of surfing through the eyes of a female competitive surfer. And yes, the movie is based on an article featured in Outside Magazine called Life's Swell, which is based on a group of teenage surfers, and it was written by Susan Orleans. And yes, yay, hooray, <laughs> let's hear it for writers all over the world. This is a major, major accomplishment for us because good stories come from good writers and good writers make the world a happier, more entertaining place. In making this video, I realized that I am interested in reading the Gidget books that were written by Frederick Connor. And I want to get a feel for one, how he writes about teenagers and two, to get a glimpse inside of the world of surfing. And for what I understand, the author based these books on his daughter. So I feel I'll get a true realistic interpretation of the sport and um, an appreciation for the sport. Did you know that the fins on the tail end of some surfboards can be used to help steer the surfer and the board and offer stability? I didn't know that until I started doing research. The fin can also allow the surfer to hold or maintain a grip on the wave. Didn't know that either. <laughs> if you visit a surfing beach, such as the ones found in Hawaii or South Africa, you will see all types of boards in all colors and all shapes and sizes. There are short boards, long boards, and fun boards. The surfboards are made of wood, polyurethane, and even fiberglass. And listening to me right now, you would think that I know a little something something about surfboards. However, that is not the case. The information that I am providing you with comes from research. So I encourage you, when you write sports fiction or romance, do the research. You will find enjoyment in discovering new things, and you will be absorbing so much information that you will regurgitate in the telling of your story. It is through research that I learned about something called sea bather's eruption or sea lice. This is when a surfer comes into contact with jellyfish lava that may get trapped inside their swimsuit. And yes, I use the sea lice in my story, White Gold. White Gold is a story about a dysfunctional family and it is a story about surfing and ambition. And the characters are beautiful, gorgeous, dysfunctional people. And the idea of this family structure came to me after reading the book, Bastard Out of Carolina, which is written by Dorothy Allison. And this book is a autobiographical telling of the author's life. And as I said, it's autobiographical. So it's some truth and some, but this story shocked Americans shock so many readers and it's about abuse and dysfunction. And, um, I got a connection, uh, through reading the book bastard out of Carolina. I felt a connection with the writer and with her story. And in reading Dorothy Allison's book, I realized that people are people are people. And yes, that may sound cliche, but there's a commonality amongst people and uh, you can see it at points of poverty and at points of dysfunctional family and sexual abuse and violence. And so um, I try to incorporate that in my writing.